Hello! Welcome to Ecopia's Solar Scholar. My name is Ivra Mati Miller, and today I'd like to talk to you about testing robotic cleaning solutions. When designing a solar site, panel health is of paramount importance. A dirty panel not only produces less energy, but its lifetime is greatly reduced. This is why automated frequent cleaning is now not only the norm, but the requirement of most tenders. But at the same time, site owners and operators must be aware of possible damages done to their panels by the cleaning process as well. Abrasions to the coating, load on the panels or infrastructure, vibrations might cause fractions or even insulation degradation leading to corrosion. Solar projects are normally measured in decades, a 25-year span is the norm, and the cleaning equipment must be verified under those conditions. The definition of testing is a procedure intended to establish the quality, performance, or reliability of something before it is taken into widespread use. A robotic cleaning solution must of course be proven to clean effectively, but more than that, it must prove to be reliable and harmless to the panels over thousands of cleanings to match the panel's lifetime and never to shorten it. Some of the most common mistakes when testing or verifying robotic cleaning solutions are first, testing the equipment for cleaning under normal conditions only. And secondly, testing the cleaning quality a few dozens or hundreds of times or accelerated operational tests for robot lifetime. These mistakes stem from simple benchmarking. With no formal standard certification, each robot is tested compared to some arbitrary criteria, which is usually derived from average or most common conditions in the field. With the Copia's field experience since 2013, we've learned that a true performance test means you need to test versus severe soiling as well. Dust storms do happen after all, and the robotic solution must perform reliably under severe conditions as well, without damaging the panels or coating, and reaching the required level of cleaning for decades at a time. When testing, remember, robots are meant to work in the field, not in the lab. <laughs>